a day at the carnival. Your starting positions are C in the left hand and E and G with the right hand. This song goes in um, in three beats per measure, so it's it has this pattern, waltzy pattern. One, two, three. A one, two, three. 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 One, and two. Then measure 17, your right hand moves to the E note, and it's kind of like a scale pattern. So we use 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 3, 2, right? And then we go the same thing, but one step down, one step lower from D note, D, F with the third finger, and stop on E. Measure 21, right hand starts with a C. Then it stays here. So in this book, they didn't mark you to move up. So it comes with a uh, fourth, uh, fifth finger on the G, which might be a little bit challenging to play. If you find that's challenging, you can return actually your right hand and start the last uh, measure 23 this part with the third finger it will be the same position as the beginning so or you can stay here and use your five and four for that one which is a little bit more exercise I guess um, and then from measure 24 two three four yeah measure 24 it, you have DC alfine so you go back to the beginning and you'll have to do the first half until measure 16 and there is your fine fine in Italian means the end okay so you would need to go from here back to the beginning to this part and play up until here and then that's the end so let me play from measure 17 that's where I stopped so that's where my right hand starts the cascades kind of so my left hand in the C position at this moment, C position, so measure 17 to the end, one and two and three and 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 measure 21, one and two and three and one and two and three Moving up here with the third finger and two and three and then we return to the first measure okay and we play the first part until measure 16 through measure 16 all right so I'm going to play from the beginning to the very end in a little bit medium tempo not too fast not too slow so one two three Get to slow it down at the very end. Also, notice that the uh, dynamics that is marked in your music you can you can tell right here. You can tell this is MF mezzo forte, and then this is piano. So what it means? It means that the left hand is going to be louder, and this is softer. Right? Um, don't play both hands the same dynamics. Sounds pretty, pretty bulky and kind of. 
kind of not as elegant, not as pretty. And so the same thing, whenever you have these like three, four beads, uh, like measure 18 for an instance, so measure 17. See, these two notes, softer, softer, play them softer. Also watch the dynamics. Um, when you have, let's say measure eight, your left hand has a crescendo. See, right here, we need to get uh, louder on this rising line up, okay? And the very last dynamics at the very, very end, remember, we do slow down at the end and get softer for the last note. So watch out for that diminuendo in there as well. So I'm going to play measure 13. Elegant um, ending. All right, well, happy practicing.